Hey everybody, Jeff from VW Bricks here. Ignore the Lego related sweater that looks really ugly. It's just, I'm cold and I'm wearing it. Um, I'm doing a quick video today, pseudo quick video today, to kind of explain how I sort my bricks. Um, as I'm doing a major sort right now, I just broke down a whole bunch of um, sets and stuff and put them into bins and, well, broke them down, sorted them by color, and each of the color gets its own bin, or depending on the size of the color, sometimes I'll have multiple colors in the same segmented bins. So for example, there's dark green, bright green, dark turquoise, I think that's yellowish green, and olive. So those are all the greens that I pulled out, or at least these five green colors that I pulled out when I um, um, when I uh, did the sort. So this is my first phase. So black is in a huge bin, white's in a huge bin, blue, grays, all of them are basically sorted out like this. Uh, everything gets sorted, regardless of color. So Brick separators are in here because that's the color that they are. Um, the next round of sorting then is to take each individual color and sort it then by category. Um, so I'm going to actually do dark green. So what I do, depending on the scenario, if like my black's upstairs right now and um, I it's a huge bin, so I take a bucket of parts, dump it on a tr on a, like a coffee table tray and sort the parts that way. Because this is a fairly small amount of dark green, I'm just gonna dump it in this tray and sort it quickly here. So I'm gonna do that for a second, it might be a little loud. Or not. So, and now what I'll do is I'm gonna sort this into probably about eight different categories. Um, so I use BrickLink, I use BrickLink for my um, sorting, like for my, my organization system. So uh, down here, just below my screen here, you can see that I've got the list of BrickLink colors up. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, I'm going to choose dark green, and then what I'm presented with is um, all the categories. So I don't sort by, I sort by category, but when it comes to colors, I don't sort everything by color. So for example, animals, they're all in a big bin, munch together with all the different colors. I do break them down in like, I have all the dinosaurs in a bag. I have all the land animals in the bag, all the water animals in the bag, a massive bag of horses because I have a lot of horses um, and so on. But there are certain things that I do sort into individual bins. And those things are brackets, bricks, modified bricks, round bricks, cones, although there's no actual cones here, just cone decorated, uh, dishes, um, hinge, panel, plate, plate modified, plate round. And then there's a few more here. The slopes, um, tiles, oh, Technic as well, but Technic I'm not doing in this, this round because Technic I do later. Uh, but you know, Technic, tile, uh, and wedge, plates, and wedges. So basically I, I about seven or eight categories that I use. And what I do then is I sort these parts into one of these trays by the seven or eight categories. Um, and then I subsort each of those trays. So I'm gonna quickly sort this out um, as best as I can, and I'm gonna try and put it all on the camera here so you can see it. Um, and yeah, uh, I find this is the easiest way to sort because, I mean, I'm able to pick out the parts that I need, like having this little tray here. Um, there's all the wedges, some more wedges. I see round plates. So I'm grabbing the bigger bits first. Bricks can go there, slopes can go here. Um, slopes, slopes, slopes. That's a plate. And I mean, I'm picking stuff up and like I'm keeping slopes in my hand right now as I'm picking stuff up. But if I pick up a brick or something like that, I'll quickly throw it into the bin as well. Um, just if it, my brain tells me to, I guess, really. So there's a wedge, I'll just throw that in. So there's some slopes. Uh, now I'm looking to see what else I have. I'm just going to take some modified plates or some regular plates out because I see a lot of them. I usually will fill up a handful um, and then I'll switch to something else. So let's do slopes again because I see a bunch of more slopes. Um, and I do this pretty quickly because uh, I find this easy. Like sorting by shape, I know what slopes are. All the slopes are easy to pull out. Uh, bricks should be easy to pull out now because there's not many left. I think I got all the bricks. <clears throat> Go back to plates. Oh, that's not plate, those are tiles. Plate, plate, plate. Plate, plate, plate. 
plates, plates. Okay, all the plates. Uh, now there's not much left, but uh, those are tiles. I'll grab more slopes. Um, I'm not grabbing tiles yet because tiles will have to go in the next bin. Because uh, again, I only have five categories. Uh, so I've already got wedges done. I've got plates done. I've got uh, curved. Well, curved slopes started. I need to, or curved plates started. I need to take those out too. Um, so curved. Then I kind of look over. I see a couple more wedges here. I see another plates. No more bricks. So this is going to be a pretty easy one. So I'll go to tray two now. And I'll take the tiles out. Oh, and I just saw a curve slope, so I'll throw that in the one below. Um, take all the tiles out. Tiles and modified tiles I keep together, at least for this. Modified plates can go in. Uh, round plates, I missed those the first time, the one by ones. And again, I would continue going until I've gone through all the categories. Um, this being dark green, it's a fairly small, it's a bit of a smaller amount of bits. So now what I have left is I have some plants. I have some minifig accessories, mostly minifig accessories, and a flag. Um, so there's the plants, minifig accessory flag, um, and that's what I kind of have left. So uh, I'm just going to quickly spin around and dump those into the bins I have back here because that's where I have my overstock or my containers of, of these types of parts. Minifig accessories, plants, and flags. And it just so happened that all those parts were in the top bins because they're the most common ones so they tend to have those bins on top and you can see the bins behind me here um so uh I, this is my new setup too so i'm still playing with the way it's laid out so i've got two bins here some tiles some modified plate uh what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually grab the containers of parts which i've already pulled out uh, and i'll give you an idea of what i've got here uh, so dark green i do have a fair amount of parts so we'll start with the bigger bins so i have a shoe box of dark green slopes. I have a shoe box of one by one brick or one by brick. So anything that's one by whatever. I have a bin of two brick, two by brick. I have a bin for overstock. So this is all the leftovers, mainly six by four by six plates because I had a lot of those. I think I got those years ago in uh, a Lego pick a brick wall. Um, then I also have, I have this bigger fit tackle container of plates and then I have smaller containers which are these bead containers I got five of these uh, so this is see if I can get it in the right order um, this is not in the right order so modified brick hinges to panel so modified brick to hinges and panel so this is modified bricks cones uh, dishes if they exist hinges and panels basically oh and brick round would be in here as well I think so don't see another bin. Uh, next up I have, that one goes to panel, so alphabetically. Next up is uh, plate modified, plate round, and small slopes. Um, so small slopes are the curved ones, the one by one cheese slopes, and the larger cheese slopes, and the cheese graters. Um, and the, rather, rather the rest of the bigger slopes go into the bigger slope bin. Uh, and this is another uh, two by one size slopes, so anything greater than two by one will go in here. Basically a continuation of small slopes. Next up, I have dark green tile, and lastly, dark green wedge and wedge plates. Um, so that's how I break it down. It depends on the size. Um, when I get, like with my black and stuff, cones and dishes tend to be in the same uh, container, but there's that's all that's in the one container, because there's a lot more of them. Uh, this is kind of a smaller thing. Uh, if you want, I can do a breakdown in the future of... Uh, say the color black when I'm sorting that and kind of give a, an overview of how I do that one because that is my largest color um, and also Lego's largest color. Okay so we're going to start with the uh, first bin dark green modified brick hinge and panel. Um, so I know let's see do I have anything in here? I have tile modified plates bricks slopes no I don't so that one is easy to do um, so I'll just set that aside uh, plate modified. I definitely have modified plates, and I have brown plates here, so let's just move this over here. Um, so now what I would do, depending on the size of my stuff, sorry, I'm just trying to lay this out so it's visible. It'll go this way. There we go. Um, 
So I would grab the like the round plates. I'll dump them in this tray. Again, usually I have more, so it makes more sense to dump them in the tray. Um, but this way they're more visible to me. And then I would usually start with the biggest parts and put them in. Now, um, if I find that I'm running, like if I've got a new piece that isn't in the collection yet, then I end up having to expand these bins and it takes a lot more time. Um, but it's not hard to do, shall we say. Um, so these all have the one by one rounds all have the hole in the middle so that's it for that uh, so slopes is also starting here so I will do the slopes in a minute I'll come back to this one I do have modified plates in here though I missed a one by one round grab these modified plates so in this case um, in this case I have two modified plates that I don't actually have in my collection so uh, that I don't actually have in this bin um, so I'm trying to angle it so you can see it here um, hopefully this actually is looking okay. So I've got the one by one jumper right here. And I also have, uh, this guy over here and in my bin, I've got the toothpiece and I've got this one. So I have left space. So the toothpaste is here. Uh, the three toothpiece is here, this purple one. Um, so I know that jumper goes here and I know that this guy goes here. Um, so I've left the space and usually that's what I do when I go to re if I have to resize a bin or move a bin or make a bin bigger, uh, then what I will do automatically is I will see what parts I already have in sets that might need to go in here and I'll, I'll allocate space for those so that in the future I don't have to, uh, I'm going to do slopes next. Um, since this bin has the beginning of slopes in it, uh, I'm just going to put this up here for now. And I'll set this up here. And actually what I'm going to do is, just to save myself on some space, just dumping the tiles in here. So now I don't have to worry about... Now I have one bin to deal with. Um, okay, so I'm going to take out the smaller slopes from here. Uh, so all the one by ones I'm actually going to push these off to the side. Because these trays allow me to dump these parts in. So I'm just moving the parts that I don't need right away. Uh, one by twos I'll put to the side too. Oh, see this this plate this one's sorted a little weird. Um, no, it should be. Yeah, I'll technically I need to reorganize this bin because it doesn't follow. Let's go to the slopes here. Uh, go back. If I go to the slope category here, it's the cheese grater which I have right here, the one by one cheese and then two by two cheese. Um, but I don't have. A space for two by two cheese and these two should be are switched so I will probably fix that later on after I'm done this video I'll switch these I'll move this guy I'll move this one into here as I said I'm gonna do it in the next video and then what am I doing I'm doing it now um, but I'll do that one at least that way my two by cheeses can go in there um, I mean technically the space is there for it I just never actually you know I just put, them, put parts in the wrong bin. Uh, so these are all the one by one cheeses up here. Here's two by cheese, or well, no, it's just one by cheese. Two by cheese, one by cheese, a cheese grater. And cheese grater is just this piece here. It's just this was the cheese that came out first, and the double cheese came out a little later. And then this one we always just call the cheese grater because that's what it looks like. And since we have cheese, it makes sense that it's a grater. Um, so again, I'll use this bin. And now I'm just going to funnel the one by one plates uh, in here. I'm not dumping the whole thing because I still have other bricks on here. Okay. Uh, I'm also looking what else there's in here. So I also have uh, one more piece in here that's on my tray. So I'll pull those out. Try not to get the inverted version. Yeah, those are all that. Uh, set that up here. I'm just going to go to the next bin which uh, so this is curved slopes which I went like so I only keep a few of this, the regular slopes in and then the curved slopes all the curved slopes are, are made to fit in this bin um, for the most part except for the really big ones um, so I don't have any of that part don't have any of that part I do have this one um, see and that's this is screwed up too so I'm gonna have to rework this because these guys shouldn't be in here um, it should be these guys can stay here 
Ideally, one of these parts should be in that first bin. Um, or this guy should be, which it's in the wrong pocket, so take a handful of these out. I'm going to set these in here. I don't know if you can see that, it's coming off to the side. Still trying to figure out how to do the screen thing. I can pull the camera up a little higher. Um, but I, it's a new setup, I'm still working on it. There's a cheese slope. Um, and these guys should go into here. So sometimes it's a problem with having to reorganize um, stuff. And it doesn't take too long. And now the inverted one can go in this spot here. I think I'm done with this bin for now. The inverted, let's go this way. There. The inverted cheese can go in here or the inverted curves. There's four of those. Um, and this screen is made large just so it's easier for you guys to see. Um, I have none of those. I have these, but they're in the wrong spot. Uh, this is also partially because Lego renames, or I should say Lego, but uh, the people who are maintaining the BrickLink inventory sometimes rename the parts, and so that causes them to change locations in the bins, and that's just me being uh, a little anal, I guess, in that I want to make sure everything fits in there where it belongs. Uh, so what's left in here is basically just brick. There's no more curve or slopes, bigger slopes that go in the slope bin. There's no more curves. So I have lots of room in these bins. I try to do that as well uh, so that if I do start to fill things, I can widen or I can expand that, that section and not have to replace every single bin. So now I'm just going to open up the green slopes. I'm just going to dump the bag here. And I'll leave this up here. And then I just sit there and say, oh, okay, two by four, 45 degree slope. I'll just put this other one in. Sometimes I have to go to a bigger bag. Not in this case. Inverted slopes. Two by two. I'll do these quickly. Done. 33 degree, I don't have any of them. Um, 45, one by two inverted, I don't have any. I don't have any roof slopes. One by two, 45s, I have a few of those. Uh, you do have to be fairly well versed in the BrickLink um, inventory system, I guess, um, in order to do this. Um, to an extent, just to knowing the order that things go in helps. Uh, I've got an extra piece here, so I have a you know, massive box of Ziploc bags off to the side. So this piece I don't have, I haven't had in the collection previously. So that's that one. Okay, on to the next one. Um, I've done small slopes. I got tile next. Um, green came with its lid put on. I'll set it over here. Open up the tile. Tile was pretty small in here too. So this should go fairly quickly. Uh, I've got no round tile in here. I do have a modified, so I'll start with the smallest one by ones. Because this isn't a lot, sorry, because there's not a lot in here, I'll start with the smallest. Normally I would start with the biggest. Uh, three by threes, one by four, which goes in the side pocket here. Um, two by twos, and sometimes I have a plus spot for printed versions, and this time I don't. Um, so that's that. And sorry, I should have pulled up the tile while I did that, but I know tile order pretty well. Uh, I am looking for this part now, which is a tile with clip, and it's been stickered, um, just to see the order it goes in. So it goes after the one by one with pin. So after this guy, and technically there's a shield piece, shield shaped piece, and then this one. So for now, I'll throw it in the, so the shield piece would go here, I'll throw it in here. That's a tile. Next up, wedge and wedge plates, which looks pretty simple too. Um, so wedges are first, they're the, the brick high wedges, and then followed by wedge plates. Now again, this one's in backwards order. Um, normally I try to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, but for some reason, for a little while, I started going 1 and going downward. And I don't know why I did that, it's just I did. Um, and when I have to reorganize a bin, I tend to flip that back around. Um, but for some reason I went backwards for some of them. 
Uh, so two by four uh, wedges go in there and some two by three wedges go in here. So that's that for that one. Oh, I missed a two by three wedge in the bin. So next all I just have bricks and plates. I'll do bricks next because I have no two by brick, only one by, oh, I have two two by fours. I lied. So I'll grab the two by four bin. Grab the big bag of two by four bricks. Throw that in, close that. That's over two by four. And again, I chose dark green because it was a fairly small um, one to organize. So one by fours can go in there. And as you can see, I have the ba the bricks bagged individually um, inside the bin, so it's just easier to grab. One by twos, and one by ones should be in here somewhere. Uh, oh, there, buried under one by sixes. One by ones. There we go. Okay, so all I have left now is the plates. Uh, plates are in my Plano uh, bin. So. Uh, Plano is just a company out of Plano, Illinois, not Texas, um, that uh, they make these uh, fish tack, fishing, fishing tackle boxes, which I absolutely love. Uh, they still technically make this series of boxes, but they've changed the interior dimensions. Uh, so now they, um, now they don't quite, they're not quite as useful for me, so I haven't bought any for many years, so I have... I have a lot of these, um, and yes, I have a spreadsheet. Um, of these bins, 3700s, I own 904 of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, because I do. I own 1600 of the bead bins. And yeah, I keep track, because why not? Um, but anyway, I digress. Okay, so I'm doing plates. So plates are pretty simple. I don't need the, the chart here, um, but I'll pull it up anyhow, and I'm just going to scale the screen back a bit just so everything fits on, um, because they are pretty simple. Uh, so, I'll, like I said, I usually start from the bottom, go left all the way up. Uh, two by four plates, I've noticed. I'm just going to. So, two by four plates, I've got too many. This bin is full, so I'll put them over the side because they're overstock. So, next one is two by four, or two by four. I only have one of those, two by threes. And as you can see, I just go down. Uh, one by eight. Next looks like one by fours, which have some space still. Uh, when I when I do hit the maximum, then they just go in a bag and they go into the overstock. Um, one by threes. That's it for one by threes. One by ones, I'm just throwing off to the top, and just kind of sorting one by ones from one by twos because this is a lot easier than picking up. Uh, for you lucky Americans that have harbor freights, that's where these bins are available from. Um, I pick, I managed to pick a couple up when I went to uh, when I went to um, Alabama, uh, and I want to pick up a couple more because these are great to have for sorting here. I have two of these usually side by side uh, when I dump bins, and I just dump them into two of them. Um, but I also use them for my Bricklink store um, to pick out parts out of baggies as well. Um, so that bin's done, and I only have this overstock to deal with. So I'm just going to open up the bin of overstock and see what I've got in here. So I've got some wedge pieces in overstock. I've got some 2x4 plates. I've got some 1x8 plates. And like I said, a crap ton of 4x6 plates. So I don't have a bag for 2x4s. So I will put those in here as well like that and I just realized I might as well have done all this with no audio at all so I might have to do another color but we'll see how it works I'll see if there's any audio if not then I redo it anyway that's uh, that's it for today um, I've sorted dark green I may do another video sorting a different color because of audio issues but we'll see uh, but until then have a good day see you bye